mean, it kind of feels like I'm replacing the heroin with just a pill form. Um, there's, there is a, uh, there's a logic to what you're saying, but what I would say is that the issue with drug addiction, aside from the health risks uh, and the financial costs, is that in general, uh, it's hard for people to function well in the world. And um, you know, what I would say is being on buprenorphine, the, there will be a stability to your life that does not exist with other opioids that potentially that will potentially you know be there a disability that um the fact that it's an opioid will not be something you're very aware of all the time um you know common side effects are, are opioid side effects where um people have constipation some people and you know some people have like a little bit of weird sweating thing that goes on like later in the day maybe as the blood level is changing a little bit um, so, you know, there are some complexities to kind of finding the right dose for everybody. And listen, I, I've had, you know, it, it's a minority of patients, but I've had some people who just can't tolerate it. They don't feel well on it for whatever reason. And then we have to look at other alternatives. Um, but I, I think it's certainly something that should be on the list of things for you to consider trying. Um, and I, 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 I hear what you're saying about the concern about getting off and about, be, you know, that it, it's a common mindset to come to drug uh, addiction treatment and um, be reluctant to replace the drug you're using with another drug that you're physically dependent on. So I, I, I think your uh, concerns are, are reasonable and common, but what I would tell you is that um, the benefits that you would get from it are more than enough to offset that, and eventually when it comes time to get off of it, um, uh, I'll, I'll help you do that. And again, while I'm recommending staying on it longer term, and the the research data says the you know everything that we know so far about this is that the longer you stay on it, the better you do. If at any point you want to come off, I'll help you do that. Like that's you know it's not I'm not going to force you, I'm not going to you know hold you captive on buprenorphine. Okay. Um, so I think it's you know I'm going to talk about another option in, 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 a, in a minute or two, but I think in terms of you know I, I get your reluctance for methadone, and and I think that that's uh, it's still a very good medication treatment in general, but it if you have the reservations you have about methadone, I, I understand. For buprenorphine, I would say that these are surmountable um, uh, reservations, so I'd urge you to still keep this on the list of things that you're thinking about. Buprenorphine is a medication treatment that um, uh, works on the opioid receptor, okay? It provides some activity there so you're not sick, but not so much that you're not intoxicated. Um, it binds to the receptor very tightly and lasts a long time there. That creates a very smooth, even effect, and that's why you don't have to take it that often and you don't have these big fluctuations in how you're feeling. The other thing it does at higher doses of buprenorphine, it probably, I mean, it happens at any dose, but you really, it, it's when you get to 16 and, and definitely 24 um, milligrams of buprenorphine. Uh, be, because the drug attaches to the receptor so tightly, it's not possible for other drugs to get on. So it, it in, a, in essence, does block. So if, so for people who are taking buprenorphine, um, they will have less craving. Uh, they will have, um, they will, they should not be in withdrawal if they're on the right dose. Um, so they'll think about using less. But if they do use, um, uh, if they're on a high enough dose, they will, at least, the, the effect will be blunted at least, if not entirely blocked. Um, and so that provides, um, I think, some uh, additional support because if you know that if I take opioids, I'm not gonna really feel them, it's kind of easier to resist using them because you, um, or even if you have the experience of using while you're taking buprenorphine, it doesn't work. So I can't get high if I take buprenorphine? If you're taking it regularly. I mean, a problem with it is that if sometimes people do take themselves off buprenorphine and that's a, limita a relative limitation of buprenorphine. For people who take it regularly, and, and most people do because um, uh, they don't. They feel better when they take the drug. So, so most m most patients that, that I've treated with buprenorphine will take the drug regularly. Um, you know, some, not, it doesn't work for everybody, and some people will go off of it and have trouble with returning to other opioid use. But um, the majority of patients, I, I find, do well on it.